And this is a box. This is actually a very special box. It comes to us all the way from Asia land. I'm not entirely sure specifically where, but it had a remarkable amount of customs and packaging labels onto it. So my friend Enoch apparently is the mastermind behind this, but this comes from Mengun. Mengun is the company that's behind those darts that we really like, the waffle tip darts. And this is a bunch of stuff that they plan on bringing to market or is already in market overseas, but I haven't seen a whole lot of over here. And so this is kind of a first look and an unboxing of what, uh, Coop, I guess, is trademarked as a tactical care package. So let's get right into it. It should be a ton of fun. Now, I haven't actually fully opened this up. I slid it open just enough to see the, uh, the slip telling me what it was so that I could talk about it, but it still has plenty of goodies and lots of mysteries inside. So coming in here, we have a bunch of these guys. So we have this, 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 and this. And that's an excellent place to start. So these are... I think magazine sleeves, but they turn regular Nerf magazines into PMAGs, I believe. So I think it's as simple as, we'll make sure that we align it correctly, as sliding them in to this slip, and they should cover as much of this magazine as is not um, seated into the blaster itself. And they even have a notch here. They are a tight fit, which makes sense. You don't want them like slipping off. But uh, they have a portion here to connect over this so that it's actually impossible to misalign them. And then what's really neat about them is that this rubber is so thin that you can actually see the follower through it as you're looking through. And I can just tell that by how, how transparent that plastic is. I guess that really would only work on the clear magazines, but pretty cool. This last bit is a real pain. There we are. And so these ones, these, these full size are definitely designed for the 18s. And then I assume that that means that this is designed for a 12. And I can find a 12 at some point for the, uh, the photograph. But that means that now this clear 18 should be super tactical. And it's got a rubber bumper on it now, which now hops on, I guess. But uh, it's pretty sweet. Again, you're not losing any functionality and you get all of these ribbings here to grip it. So that's pretty cool that there's a, I guess, desert tan, uh, kind of a burgundy one, thanks for this, guys, and a smaller version and both in tactical black. So that is pretty neat. Then, of course, as I mentioned, the darts that have kind of made them famous are the pseudo knockoff Kush darts, and these are great. They're just generally heavier than Nerf darts, fly a little bit straighter. They're really, really nice. We like these a lot. EOC, my buddy, uses these in uh, Super Stock Wars with uh, NIC primaries, and they fly really, really nicely. Uh, this is a magazine connector, I guess, is the best way to put that. So this would... Now I've got this thing on it. So these white plastic pieces are magazine connectors or dividers, depending upon how you want to think about them. But essentially, they slide onto uh, pretty much all actual or size to actual in strike magazines, like so. And then once you have two of them together, you can put your darts into them, and they will hold both magazines so that reloading becomes as easy as... And then snapping up and back down. That's pretty neat, I think. So those are pretty tactical, pretty cool. And then our next thing is this. It's got the Min Gun logo and a foam kind of cheek rest here. And this is obviously an in-strike compatible stock. Again, injection molded, not 3D printed, and actually very, very solid. We're getting very little flex there, uh, both directions. It is hollow inside, which is kind of funky fresh, but uh, um, very comfortable. The foam is actually really nice. It's nice to have like something that you uh, don't have to worry about setting up your face against. It's really, really different, I guess, and kind of cool for that reason. But uh, that is a really nice stock, and I assume that, that would be compatible with any in-strike blaster. I'm just using a demolisher because it was handy. And then here we have a retaliator pump grip, which looks like just as incredibly low profile as it could possibly get. It has metal priming bars, 
Um, it's all uh, mechanically fastened with screws, and then it has Picatinny not only on the side rails, which are injection molded plastic, but also on the bottom of it, which is pretty cool. So you could put any foregrip on here and then any optics or flashlights on the side. And then it has plenty of replacement hardware as well so that it locks into the actual bolt sled of your retaliator. So I know that retaliator is like a really popular Springer platform for people who aren't super duper into EAT. So that is very cool. I can't wait to install that. More darts! More min gun darts. And then this is a custom muzzle attachment, all injection molded plastic, very nice. It mirrors the Nerf rails on both the top and the bottom. And it appears to have a plastic insert here to protect your paint job as well as a muzzle attachment here. So this is a, a muzzle brake or a flash hider or however you want to think about it. All the pieces are separable, which means that it's highly customizable, and then they snap together and stick where you want them to go. It also looks like, if you so chose, they have an iron sight that fits on the Nerf rails. That's pretty cool. So you can lock that all the way down, and that actually bridges the gap between where these pieces snap together. And so it becomes almost an AK style. Uh, front barrel here, or this is more M4, I guess. Really, it's Retaliator, if we want to get crazy with it, but that is a really cool front barrel attachment, and it is, of course, in-strike compatible up in there. This would fit on virtually any in-strike blaster, including... These are brand new pieces, so they want to be tight. including the demolisher for a very tactical feel. Super cool. Uh, this appears to be Retaliator Bolt Sled number two. Thank you for that. Now I can afford to make a mistake with one of them. Or we'll probably uh, give one away at a war pretty soon. And then this looks like another set of the front barrel attachment, but it is already attached to a retaliator piece, and this seems to be a genuine Hasbro retaliator. You'd think I would have brought a knife into here. So, Different aesthetic, but a separate piece that fits on where that orange part usually is, and then a completely different um, flash hider slash muzzle brake, as well as a different front end, and this just looks like it will snap into here. Sure enough, so a lot of these injection molded pieces just fit together, which is really nice that you don't need glue or tools to get them all set. And then this transition here is pretty smooth actually, from their in-strike rail material to actual genuine Hasbro rail material. That means that no matter how you paint or customize, this will be cross-compatible, which is super cool. There's so much stuff left in this box, guys. These are bears that you can shoot. They are target bears. Wish we had these for the Nemesis video. Um, appear to be made of a closed cell foam with craft foam on the ends, they will pew pew pretty easy, I think. And there are three of them, so you can go bear hunting as much as you want. A different flash hider here, I'm not sure which one this would be compatible with, but I know it'll fit onto the barreling material. That much is apparent from the ID. So this is like a full suppressor style injection molded piece, very tactical. And then, if you didn't want a black cheek rest stock, you could have a white one. Functionally identical. It is nice that you could get into these since they're hollow inside by taking off the entire back end. I guess for those of you who store lipos in stocks, that is a relevant feature. Is this extended? Ooh, it is. All right, so this is an extended uh, barrel for the same sort of material that I've already installed on here, along with, again, custom flash hider and 
can make it even longer with the same sort of muzzle brake here. So a ton of different tactical accessories here. More darts. Sweet! Foregrip. This looks like a Picatinny compatible foregrip. It looks kind of like the Airsoft variety, but it has a recessed locking nut here. Fits into there, and then you would just Allen wrench this into place. This is a solid piece of ABS molded plastic. This is quite nice. I assume it's fitted to... This is actually fitted to Picatinny, not Nerf Rail. So it won't fit on there, but it would fit onto one of these Retaliator foregrips if this was how you chose to prime the Retaliator foregrip. This would suit your needs well. Kinda wish it was black, then it would match, right? That would be super cool. This is different though, I like that. Looks like another extended one of these, except this one already has its extra barrel length attached to it, and then yet another completely different kind of muzzle brake. So these are, this one might need actual glue. Nope. I had it in backwards. And all of these are labeled with the Min Gun logo so that you know that they're coming out of, I guess, whatever development lab they're building these in. So they're completely different from the, uh, the F10 555 stuff and the worker stuff. They're um, similar in a lot of ways in that they're aftermarket tactical parts, but these are of a slightly different build quality. They seem to be using a lot of hollow injection molding as opposed to um, solid, and then these are more in line with like building to actual nerf specs than they are trying to replicate real steel firearms. We have yet another flash hider if you're more into the rook style here, and then what appears to be an angled foregrip and the allen key that we needed for these guys. This is a uh, relatively... Ooh, that's a cool feature. I'm going to take this one out of the bag just so that I can show you guys this. So, this has an option where if you like this pad here, if you're the kind of person that likes to sandwich it between your fingers like so to give you extra purchase, either I think this way, so between your middle and ring finger, that's great. And then if you have like funky sized hands and you don't like that feature, I think upon taking this apart, you can knock it out and they actually have a flat attachment for it so that you could slide this in and it would just be completely uh, smooth kind of, but still ribbed for grip. So that's a really neat feature that not only does it come with an angle foregrip, but the angle foregrip itself is customizable. We're at the end, guys. This is all that remains. We have two tubes like this, and true to form, they are barreling material, and then the uh, spacers for that barreling material make sure that it doesn't have any flop while it's inside something like this. And some of these are hollow. So you need this stuff. This is good. And it looks like it comes in... This is... Again, labeled Min Gun and in a smoky kind of uh, black finish, and it's not rifle. And then the remaining material here is the same, it would appear. So, no translucent orange or no solid orange compatible with like the, the Nerf equivalent, but uh, plenty of tactical here so that you could extend these as far as you wanted them to go and then attach these muzzle brakes to that instead of to the pieces themselves because again this is all kind of cross compatible with itself so that's pretty cool we might have to uh, make a sniper rifle now that we have all of this extra barrel material. So a huge, huge thank you to my friend Enoch and to the Men Gun Company for putting together this care package. Lots of really cool stuff to make blasters with in here, and I can't wait to put together some really tactical retaliators. And then some of this stuff is compatible with flywheels. So this is like a bunch of projects in a box, and it should be a ton of fun to work with. If you guys have any suggestions for what we should build with this stuff, let me know. I'd love to know like what you guys think would be cool. We will uh, definitely do like internal modifications and paint jobs because I think that that's the only way to do a gift like this justice. So there might be some some desert tech uh, M4 style retaliators along the line. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks again to Men Gun, and we will see you next time.